I want to see more alien Reginald. Hey, yo. The Hotel Obsidian. Ah. You want them all dead? All dead. Yeah, they're going to work. Oh, shit. So we're finally going to see what it was like on the other side of this. Okay, okay. This is going to be fun. Because we only saw that one crazy ass creature. We didn't even get a good look. Are they gonna make it out alive? Flash. Uh, I don't know about that, man. Oh my god! All dead. All dead. Oh All my dead. god! Oh, it's still the, oh, the roach. We're seeing a whole crap ton of them. Man actually looks somewhat afraid. Ah! Uh, oh, it's. <laughs> they always manage to make it work. Oh, this is the explosion in present day. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, this looks so cool, but it's, it's terrible, of course. Bad run. Not hard on. You moron. Uh, Fine. At least he's trying. Pat ourselves on the back, and then everything goes to shit again. Yeah, maybe we're the problem. Oh, yeah. Us. Oh my so god, she needs to shut up, bro. Man, it's been nice knowing you. Man, Fives is really giving up. Come on. I recommend you do that now. The wedding? Ah, oh, that makes sense now. Got a little announcement to make. Oh my god, bro, this is ridiculous. We're, We're engaged! engaged. <laughs> ah. Jesus. Hey, they made it. Oh, he's still there? Mr. Roto. Sweet Mr. Roto? Right away, sir. Come on then, my boy. Wait, wait why the hell is he there? Try not to be overly... You, okay? Just follow my lead, Klaus. Oh, I love that. <laughs> no numbers. Just wow. Close. I'm immortal now. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Class, <laughs> have you gotten into the bath salts again? I think the more oh, important question. I have a per plate situation, so, you know. Wow, it's is like this that. How you? <laughs> the world really is ending. Uh, the best of you. <laughs> and you take the word of a disgruntled chimp over that of your own father? Every damn day. Hey! <laughs> I love no fives, bro. Your dad to leave. Hey, wow, you, it's like it's that. Good for all of us, big guy. Shut up, Feel man. We don't want you there either. Insurrection. Oh, I'm not the kind of erection we're driving for here, all right? <laughs> oh my Everybody God. Sees Will you be my best man? Aww. You don't have to do much. You know, you just have to stand. Oh, he's you know. so happy. Look at him. <laughs> There's got to be somebody's ass we can kick. What are you doing? To the wedding. Look, we got a kid to take care of, you all right? You think I don't know that? I'm the one incubating <laughs> that. I'll survive Look, this I'll one. I'll take those off if it means I get to spend it with you and the baby. No. I choose you. Man, pull up your pants. This will be more meaningful. <laughs> Which tells me you're considerate yet easily excited. I like that he's trying. <laughs> Give it a little what is he sir. doing, bro? Every now and then I fall apart. Oh, that's <laughs> awful. At time of my Soundtrack. Life. And say what? But why did you kill my friend? Do you really want to compare body counts? Ah, uh, it's Just, like that. <laughs> I've always been good to you. Better than the rest of us. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Victor, Victor, don't be shy. Diego, you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this little Screw body. It. Oh my God! <laughs> the dancing moments were always the highlights for me, man. <laughs> oh, poor Ben. I don't feel bad for that asshole. You're just gonna turn your back on the Sparrow Academy? Oh, shut up, bro. I mean, you. They don't exist to sell action figures and tote bags. We were ah, more than all right. Why is it so important? It's a wake up call for Ben. No, you do realize there's no paparazzi here, right? What? Dang it. Uh, this is my <laughs> Oh, wow. Look at her. Now nah, she's gorgeous for real. Now look at Luther! <laughs> Let's get this over with before I die of cringe. Dude is annoying, bro. <laughs> Dearly beloved, good time. Not a long time. Ah. So let's have a good time. Klaus huh? should fill up the wedding seats with like a bunch of dead people. You know, the ghosts and all that stuff. Do you promise to love and <laughs> cherish this big hairy bastard for the next 24 to 48 hours? Viva the apocalypse! Ah, oh, 
I can't turn, man. Again with the soundtrack! Officially worse than the apocalypse. Uh, is it really, man? Look at close, bro. <laughs> Uh, it's five dollars for a four by five. Eight if you want two of them. Oh yeah? Oh my god. Let me try yours. But with the sauce. My thing? Yeah. Let me have try it. Hey, <laughs> Only plan for tonight is to get fucked up beyond all recognition. Sure. <laughs> Man, five. Have at it. He's living right. <laughs> yeah, we call it bus ball. But that's kind of hard. <laughs> that's sick. Find your own Listen, I'm just trying to enjoy my wedding, okay? And you should too. Are you gonna okay. squish his Go head? Some salmon and jello cup. That sounds nice. <laughs> right? Thank you. Oh, he's um, showing up anyways. Nice. Swear to God, you better. What is he doing here? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah poor guy. I know he's an ass, but still. Oh man. Party and he's invited to this wedding. <laughs> you look lonely. God, he's trying so hard. Oh my God, this is so weird. <laughs> Oh my god, that scared me. Those cameras shouldn't exist. White Chapel. You must know the cat and custard. Right next to the fox and hound. Best chippy in East London. They're oh, getting really along. Of mushy peas right about now. <laughs> I have no doubt. Oh, oh wow. Sandwich is short of a picnic, but it's quite the specimen. Well done, my boy. All right. <laughs> You'd have made a superb father. He knew. Wow. Man's built different, bro. Quite literally, because you know he's an alien. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, bro. Are you serious? Why don't you like me? Because you're a huge puckering asshole. <laughs> okay, but you like the other band. Yeah, we he's love different. Why? Well, you know what? I am so much better than that other band. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, is that right? I was number one. Twice. <laughs> oh. Dad, it seems you found yourself an adequate partner. He just called Luther adequate. <laughs> if you won't forgive me, just know I forgive you. For what? I didn't do anything wrong. Oh my you know, god! I'm, Come on! I'm trying I'm to understand her. That has to, Is this really how you want to end things? Don't worry. I'll sleep fine tonight. The sun rises over a lily. Wow. Alright. Those frowns upside down. <laughs> the little this DJ. one <laughs> is for all the party people in the place. Alright. And this is happening outside, oh my god. Cool transition. <laughs> that used to be us. <laughs> That's more like it. Before him out. The brother of the <laughs> is Ben. And he's part of the, the family! family. <laughs> and as a welcome gift, I suggest we throw him off the roof. Yeah, oh wow. Five. Bro, made super hammered. Oh my god, bro. Alright guys, so that's it. Episode 8. And it was cool. It was a change of pace, you know. A little more beat, which I liked. But, I, I have a feeling next episode is going to be a little crazier. Because next episode is only like 40 minutes. And usually when episodes are shorter compared to like the rest, it usually means they're action-packed. I mean, that's just from what I'm familiar with. I don't know if that's necessarily going to be the case here. I could be totally wrong. And on top of that, it's an episode before the finale, so usually they do also put some crazy stuff uh, for things like that. So who knows? I could be totally wrong, but we'll have to wait and see. But I'm excited to check it out. Um, yeah, we start off with Reginald. Uh, you know, we see that he was responsible for building the, the hotel. Built it there for a reason. He he knew what, you know, that gateway or whatever it was uh, was leading. Not what it was leading to necessarily, but he knew that it, it existed. So that was part of the reason why he ended up making that work. Um, we end up seeing him actually recruit a bunch of soldiers to actually take out what's on the other side of the, uh, you know, or whatever is on the other side of that gate. And uh, we see it doesn't work out for them. Of course, they go in there extremely confident. They're like, we'll be back in a second. And no, they they did not go. One of them came back in a second, but it didn't really work out. It didn't even seem like a second. The dude just got, that man got slaughtered. His whole squad got cooked. And I'm really excited to actually see that monster in action. I don't know if that's what's, what's next episode is going to be, but I'm assuming we're going to be seeing it soon. But after seeing, uh, you know, the whole Diego thing and uh, seeing that, you know, it was able to take out Diego's hand, like, like fingers that fast, you know, it, it clearly is, is nothing, nothing to, 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 uh, you know, underestimate. It, it's something we should be afraid of, uh, it seems. And I'm a little scared of that, you know, he's clearly no, he's no joke, but it's going to be fun to, to actually dive into it and see what, 
we're actually dealing with. So I am excited to just dive into that. Um, and it should be it should be interesting. Um, Reginald showed up. Uh, he, of course, we ended up having that moment where he did have the big speech. But him showing up with uh, Klaus in the first place, of course, Klaus being there makes sense. But Reginald, he's a character that a lot of people are, are you know, they don't like him. They like a lot of the, 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 after the Sparrows umbrellas, they have had their issues, so they don't want him there. And it makes sense. But for him to actually uh, show up, and he, and it, it, it's clear that he's trying, you know. It's not like he's he's there, uh, you know, just keeping the same attitude. Yeah, we had some moments where he was there, and he was just like, oh, instead of, like, like getting ready to save the world, y'all are, you know, throwing a wedding. Like, what, what's, the, what's the deal here? But it was really cool to actually see him kind of come around and actually try to be better. That's, that's... Uh, really all you can do, but, uh, we, we actually saw him have a, have a speech, everyone there was actually shook, so that was kind of funny to watch, but we're seeing, uh, uh you know, um, kind of things come together, and then we're, we're seeing everyone, uh, notice that he's trying, I guess, I don't, I don't know, um, we ended up having Luther and, uh, Sloane, yeah, like, they ended up getting married, of course, they ended up having their little, uh, uh their little invitations that they were creating it was cool to see them get all, getting all excited one of my favorite moments from that was uh luther of course asking victor to be his my voice cracked oh my god uh to be his best man which was honestly really 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 like cool to see just to see uh uh elliot elliot page is acting uh you know to see his excitement or just to see the the, the slow smile in that scene i don't like that the bandana's cr there we go uh crooked um to see the excitement it was just really really cool to uh to to, to see that you know I, it must have been a great feeling and i i did like the uh you know that they did have luther do that um also we ended up having the karaoke the 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 bachelor uh, you know, the bachelor party, uh, I do feel bad for, um, Sloan for not being able to have a bachelorette party, because obviously Allison is no party right now, and she probably would not be down for it, specifically, because, um, after what she did with Luther, I feel like it'd be a little awkward to, to, you know, do the whole, like, like, try to act all friendly with Sloan, I mean, obviously Allison has, um, every right to, to, to be upset, right, you know, that makes sense, but the... I, I just feel as though she's not taking responsibility for some of her actions. I mean, I feel as though, yeah, she can be upset, but don't act like you're, you're, you know, innocent. I mean, I feel like she's trying to act as if she has nothing to be sorry for. And it, it, I don't know. I mean, with her, you know, apology towards Victor, yeah, I can understand her feeling as though she has nothing to apologize for to Victor. But with Luther and all that, I mean, I just feel as though she's, I don't know. I just, I'm not liking the way things have been so far with her character, I mean, uh, Allison's character, I never really, I, I, I didn't have any problems with her, I, I, I liked her, you know, and I feel like they're really just throwing that out the window this season, so I'm looking forward to seeing how they end up handling her in episode four, I mean, obviously her powers have kind of amped up, so I really don't want to see a villain route with her, but still, I mean, I, I'm looking forward to seeing how they do end up handling um, her character specifically. We actually got to see Ben be a little jealous, he was upset that he was not invited to the bachelor party. Which with Ben, it seems to be all all game, like all business, no play, you know. And uh, to to see him actually be upset that he wasn't invited was somewhat new, you know. I was I was actually somewhat surprised. I was like, I understand that he's uh, a little salty, but still, I mean, um, it, it was I don't know. It was just it was kind of cool to see because I would love to have Ben a part of our group again. And and you know, obviously, it's gonna take some time. And I guess we're gonna have to be patient and see how it plays out. But I guess I don't know. I'm just looking forward to seeing how it does. Uh, you know, work out with everyone kind of trying to get along with Ben Sloan. I already love. I mean, I have no problem with her at all. She was our, obviously the only person that seemed to be cool. A part of the Sparrows, her and Faye both. Even Faye was a pain in the butt at sometimes, but I did understand, um, you know, when she... Actually, no, at the end of it all, she did say, oh, we're still going to kill them in the morning. Nah, screw Faye. Uh, who, what Sparrows were cool? I mean, I understand... Alfonso and Six were doing what they were told, you know, I'm still surprised that they killed him off. I honestly thought that was just going to be a temporary thing, but we're coming to the end of the, sh the season and they're still not back. And I just found out that the w woman that played um, number six is Larry David's uh, daughter. And that, that did catch me up catch me out guard um because somebody on, on tiktok ended up saying that in my comment section yet if you're not following me on tiktok go do that we're almost at 100,000 followers we posted some umbrella academy clips up there 
So, um, and, and they, we got more people talking over there. So, again, go follow me over there if you want to have some conversations with people in the comment section. Go knock yourself out. Again, Twitter, Instagram, I'd appreciate the follows over there. A gaming channel, if you can go follow me, I'd appreciate it. You guys have been really, really cool with, uh, you know, without spoiling things. And that obviously is always good to know, you know. Um, sometimes I have to sit in the chair and I, I sit here for over 20 hours trying to bang out all the reactions. And, you know, that takes a toll, <laughs> you know, with the editing. Because editing takes, like, two hours hours per episode so it's like it, it does get crazy so but knowing that i'm there's a community right here that's not making it their sole mission to spoil it for me it makes me feel good so i appreciate that um but yeah i just want to say thank you to all of you, you guys have been great and um yeah i'll talk to you i guess we're gonna leave it there i'll talk to you soon remember the gaming channel go f go subscribe to it and i'll see you later you guys are awesome peace out <laughs>